Welcome to the ZZ Zone. I'm your host, Isaiah Nix. Today, we're talking about Little Bill, okay? So, for Little Bill, we're going to talk about the creation of Little Bill and how the show came to be. And I'll give my take on the show now at the end. Little Bill was a creation from famous comedian Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby has been featured in many children's shows in the 1970s, such as The Electric Company and Picture Pages. And he even created one before Little Bill, which was called Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. And they ran from 1972 until 1985. Like I mentioned before, Little Bill had a book series. Little Bill was created in 1996 when Bill Cosby was planning on making children's books and he used his son Ennis as an influence for Little Bill. But unfortunately, before the books were released, Ennis Cosby was murdered on January 16, 1997 in Los Angeles, California. Bill Cosby wrote several books between 1997 and 1999 for the Little Bill book series. Now, as we get into the animated series for Nickelodeon, I didn't notice, but at first, Nickelodeon had plans to produce specials for Little Bill, like TV specials, you know, and also plan an uh, animated series for the character, too. So, here we see right here. In December 1997, Nickelodeon had plans to produce three television specials and an animated series for Little Bill to air weekdays. But we all know that the three specials didn't happen. Instead, they decided to make the animated series. And it was... It's great. Little Bill began airing on November 28th, 1999, and it concluded on February 6, 2004. The show was a massive hit for Nickelodeon. It continued in reruns for many, many years to come until the many allegations that came against Bill Cosby in 2014. Little Bill joined many shows created by or featuring Bill Cosby to be pulled from television syndication. So after all that happened, so after the allegations between Bill Cosby came out, uh, the show was pulled from Nickelodeon. Um, well, reruns were pulled from Nickelodeon, Nick Jr. And the Little Bill book was banned from libraries to, to the, the creator, which is unfortunate because I feel like Little Bill, you know, had something for people like me, like African American boys, you know, and African American kids in general. Like it's like a like an image for them to see, like, yo, I'm on TV, you know, and the fact that one of the best African American cartoons was like pulled off the air because it's creator, it's sad. And people always say um to separate the art from the artist. And to be honest, it's possible to do that. But then again, Little Bill has Bill Cosby written all over it. Like, think for a second. Like, this man is in the theme song. It's just created by Bill Cosby in the credit. Like, if you, like, even, like, 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 like he's in the theme song, for real. Like, he gives Little Bill the hat, and then Little Bill runs off. I'm not even joking. That's, like, the real theme song. And it kind of ruins the show, in a way, because he's, like, Bill Cosby, because we know what Bill Cosby did now. Back then, it didn't really matter, because no one really cared about what he, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, back then, no one really cared, like, well, well, kids didn't know. So that's what I'm saying. Kids didn't care about what happened back in the day. But the adults were like, oh, Bill Cosby got a cartoon now. That's cool. Or well, another cartoon. That's cool. But people who are younger, like me, didn't know what he did. Until you get older, and you realize that, oh, wow. So little Bill is like, a little Bill Cosby, technically, like, oh, wow. So, so it's kind of unfortunate that he's, you know, to, that is in this position now, and it's I think there's like one show that Paramount hasn't put on a service because I'm pretty sure like almost all their shows on their service, like from even I, I don't I don't know I think like even even TV movies on there too, like Best Player and Snow Day stuff like that. I'm pretty sure those kind of films are on there too. I'm not sure if it was then it would make sense because it's a popular movie, but. There's no sign a little bit on 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 me on on Paramount Plus. Yeah, there's no sign a little bit on Paramount Plus, according to people. And unfortunately, due to the allegations of Bill Cosby, I don't think he's available on any streaming services besides like Prime Video. Almost, yeah, it can be like Prime Video. But yeah, the show was really something special, and messages can be relatable, to, relatable to kid, to kid, relatable to kids of all skin tones, and yeah. Although the legacy a little bit has been tainted, you could say that it's a masterpiece that was ruined by its creator. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please, please, please give the episode a big like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
See you again in the next episode of the Zay Zay Zone. Peace, y'all.